Professional networking is responsible for approximately 80% of new hires. In this video, I'll share with you my best networking advice for accounting and finance professionals like you and I. So keep watching if you want to learn more about the leading strategy for landing your dream job. In this video, you'll learn about virtual and in-person networking opportunities for accountants, you learn about networking strategies and tips, you learn about the tips for fostering long-term professional relationships, and lastly, networking strategies for introverted accountants. If you're new here, I'm Nathan Liao, and I've helped over 37,000 people study for the CMA exam, and my mission is to help you too so you can accelerate your career and income to a six-figure salary as a certified management accountant. Let's start with virtual and in-person networking opportunities for accountants. In the modern accounting industry, there are dozens of ways to network. Whether you prefer to socialize in person or over the internet, there's always an option that will suit you perfectly. So before you begin a targeted networking strategy, I highly recommend that you try out multiple options, including the ones that make you the most nervous. I mean, who knows? You might surprise yourself. Some in-person networking opportunities include local IMA chapters or conventions and conferences. Also, you can go to college and university alumni events, seminars, lectures, and workshops, and also workplace social events. Some virtual networking opportunities include virtual seminars, virtual panels, and in interviews, hosting or teaching online lectures or masterclasses, and participating in or moderating an online community space. Try to test out a range of these opportunities. This will give you a good sense of your networking strengths and what you prefer to do. Do you prefer in-person or virtual networking events? Let me know in the comments. Now let's go over networking strategies and tips. Whether you're attending online or in-person events, keep these best practices in mind to make a great first impression. Number one, keep your online network up to date. Approximately eight people are hired via LinkedIn every minute. It is the leading social networking platform for professionals, including accountants. LinkedIn is now considered to be the new business card. And for this reason, it's critically important that you invest some time to make it reflect your skills, qualifications, and also your personality. Some general tips for improving your LinkedIn profile are as follows. Number one, use a professional current headshot for your profile picture. Number two, add a graphic for your cover with relevant information. Number three, include your unique selling point in your headline. Number four, craft a professional story in your summary. Number five, list your relevant skills and experiences. Number six, endorse the skills of others. Number seven, take advantage of skill assessment badges. And number eight, celebrate your successes by highlighting publications and awards. And lastly, connect and engage regularly. With a current robust LinkedIn presence, the accounting professionals you meet at networking events are more likely to remember you, respect you, and follow up in the future. The next strategy is to engage, follow up, and repeat. Networking doesn't stop when the event is over. These days, it's expected that the people you meet at live events will become a part of your virtual network on LinkedIn. To maintain connections over a long period of time, I like to follow a formula engage, follow up, and repeat. So when I see someone at a networking event, I begin by engaging them. I ask questions, establish rapport, and then solidify the connection with a LinkedIn request. Once I've become a member of that professional's network, I spend the next few weeks following up and engaging with them online. This means commenting on posts, sharing articles or relevant announcements, and extending invites to future events. This is one of the best strategies to sustain professional relationships over the long term. If you're finding value in this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Long-term professional relationships can unlock new opportunities in every stage of your accounting career. Here are some of my best tips for maintaining relationships over a long period of time. 
Number one, become a social hub. It may not be realistic to keep up with every person in your network individually. By becoming an organizer of virtual or in-person community events, you can establish yourself as a reliable person without having to maintain a long list of personal contacts. While being an event organizer is a big responsibility, it is also a great way to showcase your leadership and organizational abilities. Number two, keep notes. It can get confusing trying to remember details about each of your connections. I like keeping notes of important details such as birthdays, job titles, relationships, and information about how we met. Because keeping notes can also help you begin to automate social interactions. If you're in a managerial role, you could have your assistant to remind you of important dates and or events about your network. Remembering details about the professionals in your network is a great way to leave a positive impression on them, so try to prioritize it. Lastly, let's discuss networking strategies for introverted accountants. So for introverted accountants, networking can be especially challenging. Here are some strategies that I've recommended to past CMA exam academy students and graduates. Number one, become a thought leader. By providing your community with a resource, you can establish yourself as a source of reliable, valuable information without having to attend events or make small talk. When creating a community resource, there are plenty of options to choose from. Begin by asking yourself what your community must need. For example, it could be a blog, office newsletter, or a masterclass where you could connect with others passively. Number two, make the time. For many, networking is not a top priority. But for those looking to grow in their careers, it should be. Block out a specific amount of time each week for networking specifically, either in the break room or on LinkedIn. You'll see that over time, those efforts will compound and result in a thriving professional network that you'll be very proud of. Number three, develop a personal brand. For many of us, being authentic in a professional setting feels unnatural, but especially among the millennial and Gen Z workforce. Authenticity is becoming an increasingly important part of personal branding. So showcasing yourself online as a relatable person will make you appear more approachable. So don't be afraid to talk about your interests, your children, and the things that make you unique, because this will be what differentiates you from others. In addition to networking skills, leadership skills are also important to develop long-lasting relationships. We'll cover the top leadership skills next, but first, let's recap what we've covered so far. Number one, attend virtual and in-person networking opportunities for accountants. Number two, follow the networking strategies and tips shared in this video. Number three, focus on fostering long-term professional relationships. Number four, even if you're an introvert, you can successfully network to land your dream job. If you're still studying for the CMA and need resources to help you pass the exam, download my free exam cheat sheet in PDF format. It's packed with the best nine strategies to ace the exam. The download link is in the show notes. If you want to succeed as a management accountant, leadership skills are a must. In this next video, I'll list out the top skills to help you succeed as a CMA. Thank you for watching. I'll see you there.